welcome to this episode of The Daily. My name is Brendan Malone. Well, two things have happened to me in the last uh, week or so that have made me start to wonder whether Marvel star is starting to wane and whether or not DC is about to start producing some really awesome uh, comic book movie content and some comic book movie world building that is actually going to really pose a very serious challenge to Marvel's dominance, which they have enjoyed pretty much unrestricted and unchallenged up until this point. The, the reason I say that is, first of all, I watched the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Unlimited Edition, which is the extended cut, well not the extended, the director's cut that he wanted to actually have in films, but the studio forced him to cut 30 minutes out of the movie. And when you watch that director's cut, man, I think it's a far superior movie. In fact, it is a different film, uh, I would say, in most re respects. The depth is there that, that wasn't present in the cinematic version, and when you watch that extra 30 minutes of footage, which is obviously throughout the movie, all of the key missing ingredients uh, are now back in the film, and it really feels like a very strong comic book tale that has been put to film. It is, I think it's a phenomenal piece of filmmaking. It is quite possibly one of the best comic book movies uh, that has been made in a long time. It's it's a really, really good movie. So that was one thing. I saw that and that was like, wow, this is really interesting. And it also then creates an interesting sort of um, platform going forward for the world building they want to do because um, it does actually put blocks in place. And interestingly, so people, a lot of people complain, for example, about adding in those extra characters. Um, the, that scene with the Flash, the dream scene with uh, Bruce Wayne and the Flash, and people were like, uh, why is that in there? It doesn't make sense. Well, when you think about it, they've actually been very faithful, whether you agree with them doing it this way or not, they've been very faithful to how a comic book would introduce a character or a concept like that. The comic book wouldn't give you the backstory of that dream or the, or the character, the Flash. It just wouldn't do that. They would drop that scene in there and expect you to know who exactly it was because you are a fan of this comic book universe. And, and this film has done exactly that. So it's very, very interesting. It's a very sort of comic book style tale that's actually being told in this movie. And now the, the second thing that happened was Comic-Con happened and there were some new trailers that were released at Comic-Con. And so we now have the new Wonder Woman trailer and we have the new uh, Justice League movie trailer. Uh, and it is really, really interesting because those trailers and also the Suicide Squad one, but I think it's a little bit outside things still for me at the moment. It'll be interesting, interesting to see how it plays out as a film. But those other two, uh, the Justice League movie and the Wonder Woman film, they look like really good comic book movies. The one question I have about the Wonder Woman movie is there seems to be a little bit of gender ideology politics in that trailer. Um, as long as they've got a substantial story, and, and a well-made movie, you can put up with a bit of that stuff. But if they try and craft a whole movie around that sort of stuff, it is definitely going to fall flat It's because it's going to lack a substantial story. But it actually, what's presented in those two trailers, it looks like they are two really good, solid films that really represent a very good comic book vision of this comic book world that they're trying to put onto screen. Uh, now, Marvel are a bit different because what Marvel have done is they've made good films. Don't, don't think they're bad. They're not. They're good movies. But Marvel have really tended to make what are more, they really are more generic action films with uh, in involving comic book characters and with enough nods to the comic book fans to keep them satisfied with what they're seeing. But an ordinary everyday person could go along with no real grasp of that com comic book universe and could still have a very enjoying experience and would not find themselves bogged down and trying to figure out who characters were or why they were doing certain things because it's all on screen there in front of them. So they really are comic book action movies. You know, and, and where the emphasis is on a good action film. Whereas I think these DC films look like they could be really good comic book action movies where the emphasis is on the comic book. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out and whether uh, that, uh, that harms them because it doesn't have the same broad appeal or whether that results in a much stronger and, and interesting and new development for the comic book movie genre. Very interesting times, especially since uh, Marvel also released a trailer for the new Doctor Strange movie. Now, what I think was really telling about that trailer was it was very 
formulaic to what Marvel does and what they do well. Uh, and it, it was a very formulaic trailer though, and it, it sort of hit all those usual Marvel beats. But the interesting thing was, when you stop and think about it, if this wasn't a new character, so Doctor Strange who we've never met before, and it didn't involve a concept, uh, you know, effectively their version of Inception, or Inception was stealing from them, um, but the point is, it's, it's, it's a new concept uh, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If it didn't present a new concept, I don't know how exciting this trailer would have been at all. I think the only thing that really made it interesting for people was the fact that it's a new character that's being introduced. If it, one, if it was one of the existing stable of characters who already have been introduced and have had their own movies in this franchise, and it was another one of their films, I, I actually don't know if people would have been that interested in, in this trailer. Whereas the, uh, the Justice League and the Wonder Woman, obviously they are new concepts, so they have a bit of an advantage there, which I think worked in their favour, plus the fact that they do look like they're going to be very, very good films. Time will tell. Maybe they might be absolute rubbish, and Marvel is not about to uh, lose any of its dominance. But it's a very interesting development, I think, that could mean that there's going to be a lot more of a level playing field, or possibly things are going to swing slightly in favour of DC. And they're finally going to start actually building a comic book universe on the, the cinematic screen that is going to be able to compete with what Marvel's doing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow on The Daily.